Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I want to do a very quick video for those that may be having issues with your hardware devices connected to your PC. And the issues that I'm talking about here is things not working properly in the cockpit, switches not working, you maybe you turn something on with your mouse and it doesn't work. The problem you may be having is Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 has already mapped a lot of the buttons on your hardware devices. So they could be conflicting with what you're trying to do in the cockpit or if you're trying to use an external program like SPAD or Moby Flight. I want to run through the setting controls to show you some tips and tricks in here. For today's demonstration, we'll be using the Bravo Throttle Quadrant. What we would do is you would first select controls at the top and then you will select the hardware device you want to adjust over on the left hand side. Now there's another problem with this as well, and that is not all of my hardware devices are showing up on the left hand side. So for that issue, we'll have to look into that another day. But for now, I'm going to select the Bravo Throttle Quadrant, and then at the very bottom, we can select the filters. If we select Assigned, this will give us all of the keybinds that are assigned on the device. Now, as you can see here, I have a ton of keybinds, and I did not bind any of these to the Bravo Throttle Quadrant. Now, there's a couple different ways in which we can delete any of the keybinds. The first way is to go over to the settings cog, and then we can delete the assigned keybind. If this is your first time making any adjustments, it's going to ask you, all right, you need to create a new profile. So we're just going to call this Prof1. Hit OK. You can go through each of these now and delete each one individually, which would take you forever. Or you can come over on the left hand side and scroll all the way down. Under airplane controls, you will see our new profile we had just created, Prof1. Next to that, over on the right, we have another little settings cog. Now if we hit this settings cog, there's a couple things in here we can do. The major one is to clear and that should clear all of the keybinds that are on that profile. Now this is going to be very helpful because every aircraft is going to have separate keybinds set up for that one device. And as a time savings measure, it may be better off for you to set up all of your keybinds to way you want. And the best way to do that is to start with a clean slate. Now, the optional way is to go through each one manually and reset them yourself. But let me show you what happens if I hit clear. It's going to ask us, do we want to clear everything off the device? Yes. All right, great. So if we look here, if we go down to filters, we can hit assign and you see we have nothing assigned to that device now. So you think, OK, perfect. Everything is good to go until we switch profiles. If for some reason you need to switch your profile, and this is the default Bravo Throttle Quadrant profile, if I switch one more time, well, two more times, back to the Prof1 profile we had just created, you will see all of the keybinds just repopulated within that profile after I cleared everything. All right, so now you're saying, what do I do now? Obviously, this is a bug in Microsoft Flight Sim 2024. So how do I create a blank profile from scratch without the possibility of all of the keybinds populating back up? If we go back to airplane controls and tick on these boxes, I'm going to go back to the airplane controls that says none. Now, you can either use this profile or what we can do is click on the settings cog and then duplicate that profile. Now we can name that blank or whatever you want it to be for your blank profile and hit OK. Now what you will notice that if I go through all of my profiles, Prof1 has repopulated everything. We have the default profile. And now if I go back to the new profile I just created that I duplicated, all of the keybinds are gone. Before we go, I just have one more quick tip. And I know a lot of people are frustrated with keybinds and that they switched all of our Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 keybinds and every single one is different. 
So instead of trying to remap all the key binds or remember all of the new ones, if we click on keyboard and go down over on the left hand side again, over on airplane controls, we have a couple different options. We can select keyboard 2024 or we can use keyboard 2020 and this should give us all of our 2020 keybinds back to our keyboard. All right, folks, that's it for today. If you have any comments or questions, post them down below in the comments section and I'll get right back with you. Make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button to all my flight simmer friends around the world. Keep the blue side up. We will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.